Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yi Ming. In the first episode of the Childhood Viral Infection series, I shared about hand, foot and mouth disease. If you want to learn more about that, click on the top right of your screen now. In this week's video, or this episode, I want to share with you guys another common childhood virus called chickenpox. Most of us may have contracted this virus before already. To learn more about it and whether there are any vaccines for it, watch till the end. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. Varicella, more commonly known as chickenpox, is caused by the virus varicella zoster virus. The incubation period of varicella zoster virus is about two weeks. That means you may develop symptoms within two weeks of catching the virus. The virus spreads very easily from person to person, usually via close contact, such as respiratory droplets, saliva, and the fluid within the vesicles of the chickenpox rash. If the child has caught the virus, up to 90% of the people close to the child who are not immune will also become infected. The patient is infectious about one to two days before the onset of the rash, all the way till when the rash has dried up. What are some of the symptoms you may expect? Well, before the onset of the typical rash, the child may present with fever and lethargy, headache and body ache, loss of appetite, and thereafter, they may develop a classical rash all over the body. These rashes may first present as a few itchy red bumps but spreads rapidly over the next few days to the entire body, including the scalp, the head, the face. The bumps will then become fluid-filled small bubbles, and it may take one to two weeks before these bubbles dry up to form scabs. Some of the complications that may occur from chickenpox includes bacterial skin infection, which may require oral antibiotics, virus spread to internal organs like the brain and the lungs, infection spreading within the bloodstream, and in serious cases, even death. Fortunately, complications from chickenpox are very, very rare, and most of the time, the body recovers by itself. Treatment of chickenpox is usually symptomatic. If the child develops fever, control the fever via cool fluid hydration, sponging or water bath, anti-fever medications like paracetamol syrup. If the child is scratching excessively due to the itch, you can consider over-the-counter oral antihistamines like Zyrtec or Telfast, calamine lotion or moisturizer, wearing clothing with long sleeves and pants, and keeping their fingernails trimmed. Some of the red flag symptoms to watch out for includes fever lasting more than 5 days, fever higher than 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, drowsiness or lethargy, persistent vomiting and inability to feed or drink, severe abdominal pain, difficulty breathing, swelling, tenderness, or pus discharge from the skin. So if you see any of these symptoms and signs, do seek medical consultation immediately. Chickenpox is very contagious and it can spread very quickly amongst children and even to adults who are not immune. To prevent the transmission to others, adopt these few steps. Number one, isolate your child. Avoid contact with others as the virus usually spread via touch and through their oral and respiratory droplets. Two, clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces and shared items, including toys and doorknobs. Three, for caregivers who are not immune, do not hug or kiss the child. Wash your hands with soap and water often. Fourth, no sharing of drinking cups, utensils, personal items like towels and brushes. Now, there are vaccines available to protect the child from chickenpox, and in Singapore, the chickenpox vaccine known as varicella zoster vaccine is already part of our national immunization childhood schedule. All children should receive two doses of chickenpox vaccine from age 12 months onwards, three months apart, and this is usually given together with the mumps, measles, and rubella vaccine. The vaccine is subsidized, and all eligible children can get it for free at polyclinic or CHAS accredited private GP clinics in Singapore. For adults 18 years and above who are not immunized yet, it is also recommended to receive two doses of vaccination one to two months apart. Please consult your family doctor for more information on the vaccine. Now, some people who are vaccinated may still get chickenpox, 
but the symptoms are much less severe and they may only develop a few small bumps and vesicles, typically less than 50 red bumps. They are also less likely to spread the virus to others. So there you go. Learn to identify a child with chickenpox. More importantly, vaccinate your child with chickenpox vaccine to prevent them from catching the virus and suffering from it. Subscribe, like and share this video. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.